Hi everyone. It's Miss Emily from the Meigs County Library. How are you? It's so good to see you guys. Oh, and Cinnamon. Cinnamon's here with me today too. You tell him hi? Tell him hi. Say hi boys and girls. Hi. <laughs> so Cinnamon is joining us for story time today, aren't you? Yes. Tell him hi. We are going to read I Ain't Gonna Paint No More. I love this book. This is one of my favorites too. This only has a lot of favorite books. Can you tell? So this book is by Karen Beaumont. Oh, and there went Cinnamon. And illustrated by David Cottrell. So here we go. Oh, and this is read with permission from Harcourt Publishing. And we want to give them a big shout out and a big thank you for letting us read this book for our virtual story time. So here we go. I ain't gonna paint no more. Do you think he's gonna make a mess in this book? Yeah, it kind of looks like it, doesn't it? I agree. Oh my goodness. So this is a rhyming book. So I want you guys to try to help me figure out what he's going to paint next, okay? So here we go. One day my mama caught me painting pictures on the floor and the ceiling and the walls and the curtains and the door. And I heard my mama holler like I never did before. You ain't gonna paint no more. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. That's what I say, but there ain't no way that I ain't gonna paint no more. Oh no. So I take some red and I paint my right head. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Oh, what the heck? Gonna paint my neck. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Still, I just can't rest till I paint my chest. Now I ain't gonna paint no more, cause there ain't no harm if I paint my arm. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. But I just can't stand not to paint my hand. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. And then I see some black, so I'll paint my back. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Like an Easter egg, gonna paint my leg. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Still I ain't complete till I paint my feet. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. But I'm such a nut. Gonna paint my... What? Y'all don't faint, cause there ain't no paint. So I ain't gonna paint no more. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at that mess. How much trouble would you guys be in if you did something like that? You guys would be in a lot of trouble, right? Yeah. There would be a lot of trouble at my house, too, if that happened. <laughs> so I have a little activity for us to do to kind of go along with that book. So, since we would really get in a lot of trouble if we painted ourselves, how about we trace our hand and paint our hand on a piece of paper? How about that? Right, just like that little boy did. It kind of looks like his in the in the story, doesn't it? A little smiley face on it and some eyes and some eyelashes. Painted all kinds of different colors, didn't he? So what you guys are gonna do is you're just gonna take your hand and your arm, you can do both, and you can lay it flat on a, just a white sheet of paper, a piece of construction paper, whatever you guys have at home. Trace your hand, or you can have mom or dad, or maybe grandma or grandpa or a sibling, like your brother or sister help you. And then, 
have someone help you get some paints out and you can paint your arm to look as silly as that little boys did in the book yeah all right well i hope you guys enjoyed our story for today and i hope you join me next week for more virtual story times okay all right it was good to see you guys i hope you have a great rest of your week bye everyone